Baseball is back. Three simple words that make you feel so much. The smell of pine tar and leather. The carefree nature of a ball game on a warm summer night. Lemonade, ice cream, peanuts, and Boog's Barbecue at the yard. It's as American as apple pie. The national pastime we've missed to help us through tough times. Hello, sports fan. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, here with another game in the second round of my round robin tournament. And this particular matchup is going to be the 1968 Baltimore Orioles, who finished 91 and 71, against the 1989 Kansas City Royals, who were 92 and 70. Both teams advanced to the second round. And so they find themselves matched up in a game of teams with records that could almost not be any tighter than they are unless they were the same record. So um, the Baltimore Orioles will be the visiting team because they won one fewer game than the Royals did. And the pitching matchup today is going to be Gene Braybender on the mound for Baltimore against Tom Flash Gordon for Kansas City. And uh, we will get right into it. Um, Paul Blair will be the leadoff batter for the Orioles. And he gets a 4-8, which is a double 1-8. to eight. And it is a double. So he gets a leadoff double, Paul Blair does. It would have been a fly ball, but turns out that's not what happened. So now he's at second base. And Don Buford is up, and he gets a 6-5, which is a strikeout. One away. Now, I know many of you are sitting there saying you would have sacrificed, but I don't like the sacrifice, and this team has too many good hitters to be doing that. Second base X is the role, and uh, the second baseman for the Kansas City Royals is... A two. That's Frank White. And that's a 13. That's probably an out. And it is two away. Frank Robinson out. And that brings up Boog Powell. Boog Powell. And he gets a 5-4, which is a fly ball to center. That is going to be Willie Wilson, and he's a two. And that's an eight, and he is out. So the Orioles, despite getting a leadoff double, failed to score right there. And that brings up the first batter for the Royals, two-face Braybender, Willie Wilson. And he gets a 6-7, which is a walk. And Willie Wilson's a stealing A. He's going to try to steal second. And that's a 19. He's gunned out. I don't think there's anybody that makes it. Especially, well, he's a stealing A. So a stealing A, there's no way it makes it on a 19. Oh. So he's caught stealing one away. Um, Kevin Seitzer gets a 3-8, which is a fly ball left field, two away. And that brings up George Brett. And George Brett gets a 4-12, which is a ground ball to second base. The second baseman for the Orioles is a 2. That's Davey Johnson. That is a 10 and a 2 at second, which is an out. So Brett is out. And that takes us to the top of the second. And that will bring up the uh, second baseman for the Orioles, and that's Davey Johnson, who just made that last play. And he gets a triple one to five or a single. And that is going to be a single. Davey Johnson is aboard. Bleffery is up, and he gets a 1-5, which is a home run 1, or it'll be a fly ball. And it is a fly ball to the uh, 
right fielder. So Bluffery is out. Bluffery today is the DH, one away. Oh no. All right, my dice fell on the ground, so let me go get that. All right, that brings up Brooks Robinson, Brooksy. Get the 2-3, which is the ground ball shortstop, double play. The Orioles are out of that inning. We go to the bottom of the second. Bo Jackson is up. 2-4 is a fly ball. One away. Jim Eisenreich gets 1-9, which is a ground ball second base. Two away. And Danny Tartable's up, and he gets a 1-10, which is a ground ball to the shortstop, and he is out. So Kansas City goes quickly in the second. We go to the top of the third. Top of the third, Andy Echebaron, the catcher, is up, and he gets a 2-5, which is a single one to 19. And he does get a single. Third hit allowed by Tom Gordon, and Belanger is up, and he gets a 1-7, which is a fly ball, one away. Paul Blair is up. He gets a 4-11. That is a pitcher card X, and he is, uh, this was before the separate rating, defensive rating, so he is uh, known to be a 2, and that is a 7-2 is an out double play. So Paul Blair hits into the double play that ends the inning and brings up the bottom of the third in a scoreless tied game. And Bob Boone at the plate, he gets a 5-7, which is a single. Bob Boone gets the first hit of the day for the Royals. Frank White up, he gets a 1-8, which is a pop-out to third base, one away. That brings up Kurt Stillwell. He gets a 1-3, which is a ground ball B, and now he is at first base instead of Boone. And that brings up Willie Wilson, and Willie Wilson gets a 6-7, which is a walk. So the Royals have a little bit of a threat here, but with two outs. And Kevin Seitzer is up. He gets a 4-5, which is a strikeout. First strikeout of the game for Bray Bender as we move to the top of the fourth in a scoreless tie between two teams who had very similar records in their respective years. Don Buford is up. He gets a 5-4, which is a fly ball to the center fielder. That's Willie Wilson. He's a 2. That is, I believe, that's a 9. And that is probably going to be something. That is a double. So Buford ripping a double. Frank Robinson's up. He gets a 6-4, which is a walk. So the Orioles have the first two guys on this particular inning with no outs. Boog Powell up for seven. That is a strikeout. So there is one away. Second strikeout for Tom Gordon. Davey Johnson is up and he gets a 1 7, which is a ground ball, third base, double play. No runs for the Orioles again in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Still tied at nothing, nothing. And George Brett up. He gets a 4-5, which is a strikeout. One away. 
Both pitchers are on top of their games today here. And that's a 410, which is a ground ball shortstop. The shortstop is Belanger. And he is a two at short, and that is an out, two away. And up steps Eisenreich, and he gets a ground ball to second base, and he is out. We go to the top of the fifth, still scoreless. Bray Bender and Tom Gordon in a uh, scoreless death match here. Neither one willing to give way, and Kurt Bleffery up, and he gets a 1-7, which is a single one 18. And that is going to be a single. Bleffery. Brooks Robinson is a 3-7. That's a fly ball. One away. Andy Etcherbaron gets a 3-10, which is a ground ball, shortstop, double play, and there are they are out of the inning. We go to the top, the bottom of the fifth. Danny Tartable is striking out. Bob Boone comes up and he gets a 111, which is a ground ball, second base A, plus injury. And that's going to be a 16. He's going to be gone for a while. Certainly for the rest of this series. And then White is up, Frank White, and he grounds out to the shortstop. And now we have to come up with a replacement catcher for the Royals. And uh, that is going to be Mike McFarland. And he is a Mike McFarland is a catcher four. Now the Orioles are up in the top of the sixth. Belanger gets three nine, which is a strikeout. Paul Blair gets a five five, which is a fly ball to the left fielder. That's two away, and Buford is up, and he gets a 111, which is a foul out or a pop out to second. We go to the bottom of the sixth, all tied again, still at zero. Kurt Stillwell comes up, he gets a 4 7, which is a single one to seven, and that is going to be a single. So Stillwell is aboard. That's only the second hit that Braybender has given up. He's been on top of his game big time. Willie Wilson up 2-4. That's a ground ball second base A. So Wilson hits into a double play. And now there's two down. And Kevin Elka Seitzer is up 5-10. That's a fly ball center field. The center fielder is Blair. He is a 2. That is a 13 I believe that's an out, but we'll check it, and it is. So Seitzer is out. We go to the top of the seventh. Unbelievable scoreless pitcher's duel here. With Frank Robinson up, and he gets a 1-9. That's a strikeout, one away. And in case you're wondering, Tom Gordon in 1989 pitched 163 innings and Braybender pitched 125. Boob Powell is up. That's a 4-9. That is a ground ball second base seed two away. And Davey Johnson's up and he gets a 2-9, which is a fly ball center field. 
we go to the bottom of the seventh. All still tied at zero. Two pitchers pitching the game of their lives. George Brett is up and he gets a 1-7, which is a ground ball to first base. And he's out. Bo Jackson, Bo knows, 5-6, that is a strikeout. He knows he's got to go back to the dugout. Fourth strikeout for Bray Bender. And Eisenreich is up, and he gets a single. So Eisenreich breaks through with a hit. But it's a two-out hit, so we'll see if the Royals can capitalize on it with Tartable up. And he gets a 5-4. That's a ground ball to the third baseman. The third baseman is Brooks Robinson. He is a 1. That is a 15. I don't have a lot of hope that that's going to be something bad. And it isn't. And it's an out. Is what it is. And Tartable is out. We go to the top of the 8th. Kurt Bleffery is up, and he gets the 3-6, which is a pop-out to second. One away. Brooks Robinson gets a 3-5, which is a ground ball shortstop. He is out. And Andy Etcheberin gets a 4-7, which is a strikeout. Unbelievable, these guys. They're pitching really out of their minds here. Bottom of the eighth, no score. And Mark Mike McFarlane, the replacement for the injured Bob Boone at catcher. Gets a 1-4 and he pops out to short. Of course, never really much of the hitter. Um, and certainly not as good as Bob Boone. And Frank White comes up. He gets a 3-5. That's a ground ball shortstop. And he is out. Two down, and Kurt Stillwell gets a 2-7, and that's a ground ball shortstop B. We go to the top of the ninth. Bray Bender still holding this um, Royals team to nothing, and Belanger gets a 4-7, which is a strikeout. Paul Blair gets a 1-5, which is a double 1-19, to and that is a double. This might be one of the better threats that they've had since Paul Blair doubled to lead off the first inning. Buford is up. He gets a 6-3, which is a fly ball. To the left fielder, the left fielder is Bo Knows, and he knows he's a gold glove left fielder, and that's a one. That's a three, though. Three and a one is an out. That's still an out. And Buford is out. And we go to Frank Robinson with two down. Gets a 6-10, and that's going to be a single one to 14. And that is a single. But it was a one asterisk, so they have to hold. Frank Robinson with the hit. And Boob Powell up, and he gets a 3 8, which is a single one to 16. And if he gets this, they go ahead and they do. Boob Powell knocks in the Orioles go ahead run with a single. They finally broken through on Tom Flash Gordon. And Davey uh, Johnson is up. He gets a 3-7, which is a ground ball third base A. But the Orioles got one in the ninth, and they are going to bring in a relief pitcher. They are not going to let Bray Bender go out there now. For one thing, he only pitched 125 innings that year. And uh, they certainly would like to turn this over to somebody who might be a little better, like Mo Drabowski. So they are going to bring in Mo Drabowski to pitch the ninth.
and try to shut the Royals down and get the Orioles out of here with a one game to nothing lead. And Willie Wilson, the top of the or their top of the order is the, I mean they couldn't ask for any better than that, any better planning than that. The top of their order is up. And he gets a 5-6, which is a strikeout, one away. Kevin Elka Seitzer gets a 3 7, which is a ground ball. He's out. And with two down, it's all up to George Brett. The Hall of Famer George Brett gets a triple one to four or a double. And he does get a double. So he's at second. And now it's up to uh, Bo Jackson. And he gets a 5-9, which is a strikeout. And that is the end of the game. The Orioles win it by the slimmest of margins at the last hour. By the score of 1-0. And they take a one game to nothing lead. This is going to be a great series, my friends. So make sure you tune in for the rest of the series. But the Orioles take game one by the score of 1-0 with a run in the top of the ninth.